with some serious stage fright to his 30-year-old virgin girlfriend to a Shakespearean ghost. The latest production by Roadrunner Theater Company calls itself the best comedy Shakespeare never wrote. Here to explain how all those zany characters come together is director of the show, Mark Klugheit, and actress Andrea Hickey. Thank you both so much for joining us today. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. to have you. So tell us a little bit more about the show. I kind of gave a little bit of a synopsis <laughs> there at the top. Lots of zany characters already, but give us a little more. Well, you gave a great synopsis. It's, it's really a funny show. Uh, I read the script, and uh, my wife wanted to kick me out of the house because she said, <laughs> why are you laughing? And it was like I couldn't stop laughing each page that I read. And seeing this come to life with actors, uh, we had a preview last night. Uh, the audience couldn't stop laughing. The characters are funny. The dialogue is funny. I don't want to give away the jokes, but I promise anyone who comes to the theater that they will laugh. Clearly enjoyable. The audience last night, if there are any indication, it's going to be a really successful run. And Andrea, like we were saying, you're one of the actors in the show. Uh, you know, you've done lots of different types of acting gigs. This is uh, just the latest notch in your belt, so to speak. So tell us about your character. Sure. My character's name is Deirdre McDavy. She loves theater and is obsessed with Shakespeare, specifically Hamlet. She is a hopeless romantic. She has decided to remain pure until she is sure she is with the man she will marry. And this has obviously been a struggle for her boyfriend, Andrew. Right. But he has offered the role of her lifetime, Hamlet. So everyone will have to come to see how the story unfolds. So you are that 30-year-old virgin, at least in this play that we were talking about. <laughs> and, and certainly I can see how that would be fun with the actor who plays Andrew. You know, all the different uh, dimensions that go into that. And people will see a lot of their own relationships, I'm, sur I'm sure, in a lot of these interactions. Alex, I don't want to give away too much, but I will say that she has another kind of romantic interest oh. in this play. Okay. The ghost of John Barrymore, ghost. the greatest Hamlet. Very good. And so, Andrea, why, what made you decide to play this character in this play? I love Deirdre, first of all. She is fun, energetic, a lot like me in many ways. I love the journey she takes over the course of the play. Overall, it's a beautiful story with great comedy. I think it's actually the funniest play I've ever been a part of. We have a great cast and crew who are just a joy to work with, and it's such a fun show. So if you like to laugh, please come. And we're seeing some of that uh, footage there. Is this from a rehearsal you guys did, or did you make it specifically to show us here today? What are we looking at? You're looking at a trailer. It was okay. professionally produced by uh, some terrific people, uh, Scott and Anna Grissel at Creatista, uh, and it's available all over Facebook. I hope people will check it out. Excellent. So these are the two. That's Andrew, I'm guessing. That's that, the ghost. That's Andrew and uh, Barry Moore's ghost. Very good. So all those things that we were talking about, it might have some themes that might uh, not be appropriate for kids, or is it for the whole family? What would you say? Well, first of all, if you're a kid who's old enough to have start to starting to read Shakespeare in high school, yeah. and you think, I don't understand this. Why do they use those words? You're old enough to see this play because <laughs> some of it will make sense to you. Good. Okay, some of it will make sense to you. It's not necessarily inappropriate, but no. there will be also Shakespeare in the play itself, right? There is some Shakespeare. It's interwoven throughout the play. It's just enough for those who love Shakespeare and the right amount for those who aren't huge Shakespeare fans, like my boyfriend in the show, Andrew. Can we have a little bit of Romeo and Juliet? Oh, gosh. Uh, my bounty is as boundless as the sea, my love as deep. The more I give to thee, the more I have, for both are infinite. Look at that. Performs on demand. <laughs> that was unbelievable. Right off the top of her head. Well, I'm sure she's committed that to memory by this point. Uh, that's excellent. And so tell us a little more before we run out of time about the Roadrunner Theater itself. Okay. Roadrunner Theater is a fairly new theater. Uh, it's on the east side. We have a particular mission of making theater available to people that live in that part of the world uh, who don't want to go downtown but want to see theater. We're at uh, the intersection of Tanque Verde and uh, Bear Canyon Road, uh, right in a mall there. Uh, our tickets are $20, which is fairly inexpensive for theater, and we have all kinds of discounts. And we want to bring live theater to that part of the world, and, and, and we find more and more people are learning about us and coming and enjoying 
uh, being a part of our community. Very accessible, very affordable, top-notch productions, top-notch top, top actors, if I can even get it out. I, I mean, <laughs> you did so well with that Shakespeare. You got caught me off guard. <laughs> thank you both so much for joining us today. Congrats on another play, and thank you thank uh, for being you. here. Thank you. Of course. Thank you. Now, I Hate Hamlet kicks off tonight and runs through March 11th at the Roadrunner Theater. Get two tickets for the price of one on this opening weekend when you mention The Morning Blend. That's a great deal. For more information, please call 520-207-2020. 2491 or visit hatehamlet.brownpapertickets.com.